Hello guys, welcome back to what is. Wait, do I sound weird? No, I am not Aditya. I am voice Gamma, the new voice of what is. But don't worry, Aditya is not going anywhere. He will be doing the same number of voiceovers as me. So, let us start the new video right now. Hello guys, welcome back to what is. We are back with the topic of history. In the last video, you saw about the French Revolution until the Estates General. In this video, we will explore what happened next. Remember about those people who were in the first and second Estates but vouch for the third? Let us learn about them much more in French Revolution Part 2. So let us get straight into it. For the questions of this video, here they are. Number 1. Who were the people from the first and second estates who supported the revolution? Number 2. What form of protest did the third estate use? And number 3. Did the change happen for the better or the worse? Let us start answering them. The representatives of the third estate viewed themselves as the spokespeople of the whole French nation. They declared themselves as the National Assembly. The National Assembly gathered in the indoor tennis court at Versailles on 20th June and swore not to disperse until they had drafted a constitution that would limit the powers of the monarch. The two main people who led the third estate were Mirabu and Abessis. This also answers the previous question that how would the third estate win if there was one vote per person in the estates general. What would happen is the first and second estate would of course vote in favour of increasing the taxes as they did not need to pay taxes after all. But the third estate would vote against increasing taxes. But people like Mirabu and Abessis would vote in favour of the third estate and that is why one vote per person mattered. Now, let us learn more about the backgrounds of the leaders of the third estate. Mirabu was born in the noble family but was convinced that there should be a society without feudal privileges. Abessis was originally born a priest but agreed with the views of the third estate. He wrote an influential pamphlet called What is the Third Estate? But there were other things to take care of France other than the National Assembly. In that year, there was a very bad winter, which translated to a very bad harvest, less supply of bread and bakers exploiting the situation. The bakers often hoarded supplies and crowds of angry women stormed these shops. At the same time, the king ordered troops in Paris. The people of the nation felt threatened and destroyed the palace at Bastille. At the same time, there were rumours among the villages that at the manor, that is, the estate of the nobles, had hired bands of thugs to destroy their ripe harvest. The peasants were caught in a flurry of fear. They gathered all their hoes and pitchforks and destroyed the chateau. Chateau is the plural for a castle or stately residence belong to a king or a nobleman. They looted hoarded grains and burnt down records containing the dues owned by the peasants to the nobles. Many nobles fled their estates and migrated to the neighboring countries. When Louis XVI understood the power of his revolting subjects, he gave recognition to the National Assembly and accepted that his power will now be checked by a constitution. On the night of 4th August 1789, the National Assembly passed a decree abolishing the feudal system of obligation and taxes. The clergy was also forced to give up their privileges. Tithes, that is, the tax collected by the church was abolished and the lands owned by the church were confiscated. As a result of this, 
the government acquired assets worth 2 billion livers that is enough money to repay their debt in the last video right anyway the national assembly finished their draft of the constitution in 1791 the constitution's main objective was to limit the powers of the monarch the power which was earlier concentrated in the hands of one person was now separated and assigned to different institutions the legislature the executive and the judiciary the constitution of 1791 gave the power of making laws to the national assembly which was elected indirectly what that means is as you can see in the diagram only about 4 million out of 28 million people could vote in france now let us understand system of voting in france the french population was divided into two groups the active citizens and the passive citizens the active citizens were the ones who were men above 25 years of age and paid taxes equal to at least 3 days worth of a laborer's daily wage the remaining people were declared as passive citizens also to qualify as member of the council one had to belong to the highest bracket of taxpayers as you can tell this system is not very fair one should be able to vote irrespective of their income and gender so now let us see how the council was voted the 4 million active citizens voted to nominate 50000 electors that means that the common people voted for the people who would vote for the candidate they favored the electors then voted 745 members to the national assembly the national assembly exercised control over the king and the ministers the king could also veto the decisions made by the national council if you are wondering what a veto is let me tell you for example the national council passes a decision to have the budget spend on the maintenance of the court the king could stop this from being enacted for as long as he liked or in other words the king could veto the decision also the constitution gave declaration of man and citizens the declaration guaranteed the right to life freedom of speech and freedom of expression equality before the law were established as natural and inalienable rights that means that they belong to the citizen by birth and could not be taken away but make sure to note that it was only the declaration of man and citizen women were not covered in some rights over here what about the women did they have a revolution too did they make their own rights we will discuss about them in the next video if you are a new user do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel do visit our website the link is given in the description box